Oh, yo, what the heck is that? There's something right down there. So I just found this right now kind of hanging out of a tree. It says, I want to age like sea glass, smooth by tides, not broken. I want to ride the waves, go with the flow, and feel the impact of the surging tides. Yeah, same thing, like desert and some sort of mountain. This looks like a detective pointing out crime scene evidence. And then the criminal is sitting there, whether to testify. Oh, that's cool. So somebody made like this metal turtle. Wow, that is sick. It looks like these paintings. I remember when I was finding, me and Braden were finding paintings. So there's like a painting of a skull. What does this say? Oh, it does say It says, death is only the beginning. That is, yo, what the hell? <gasps> Holy <laughs> Holy Welcome back guys to this next exciting adventure of Rain Nautica, as always exploring with Brad. So today I did something a little bit different. I brought this bag in case I find anything. I brought a little map in there and I brought a canteen of water. So like if I do find stuff, then that way I can pick it up and then it's not litter. So I got that. This is a brand new location. We haven't been here to, uh, we haven't been here before. So I'm just really excited to check this out. We still have merch available, so I'll drop that link right below. But anyways, guys, let's get this party started. Yeah, so I'm kind of excited. This is completely new. It's funny, because me and my friend T, we decided to start uh, doing randonautica, like, in different townships, so. We are in the town of Collingwood, and I think you can see the, uh, what is it, the Collingwood Terminal. It's supposed to be historic. I think they're actually tearing this down. So I don't think that that will be here forever, unfortunately. I think it's just rotting away, so they just want to get rid of it. But anyways, onward and upward. There was a lot of traffic today. This is a pretty popular trail. So I might have to just turn the camera a few times if people are walking by. So, hello. Pretty good yourself? Yeah, lots of people going out for the hikes today and everything. So all good stuff. I think the only thing I've been having trouble with lately is packing snacks. Like knowing what to <laughs> what to pack and everything like that for this kind of stuff. So I have to get it on the mat. Got some nice bridges here. The water. Really nice. You can see the whole bay out that way. Looks like there's some sort of tower back there. Just one single tower. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. It's just chilling there, so that was interesting. So my first point says that it's way up there, but I kind of want to check this out. Let's see what this is. Might as well take advantage of it, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. So there's like this little uh, turtle emblem. That's yeah, it's a bunch of turtles. So that's cool. So I just found that. Now, I think that this point is actually just leading me to this, uh, this thing up here. Yeah, so what's been weird going on with me is that I just 
I have this diet relating eating disorder. I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm just not, I'm, I don't know what it is. I was just afraid of food and afraid of what I put in my mouth and I have this high metabolism and it's like literally I can stuff my face. So I have to, I want to try to get in touch with this dietitian and just figure some stuff out and kind of go from there. But other than that, everything's been okay. Slowly getting energy back, which is cool. Which has allowed me to get back to work. So that's good. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we just found this thing right now. It's interesting. Okay, and the point says that it's actually a little past this, so I'm kind of interested if we find something. See that there's a tent back there. That's kind of disturbing. What's going on? Oh, yo! What the heck is that? There's something hanging on that tree right there. In my water canteen. I've got to bring that. I didn't want to carry that backpack anymore. All right. So I just found this thing hanging on a tree. It's like a necklace. I don't know if this is like. A memorial type thing and stuff like that so I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up because I don't really think that it's doing any harm being here so there's that here because I know we had this thing to do with um, indigenous and uh, every child life matters and things like that and I think that that's what this area is to commemorate so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that. I'm not gonna bring that with me. Cause I mean, it was probably left for something to do with that. So yeah, I think we'll skip picking that one up. But anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna set a new point and go from there. I'm actually anxious to see this trail. Like I'm really excited about this. Funny, when Ren and Attica brought me here, I looked it up and I'm like, this park looks incredible. Like it kind of just had every aspect that I would look for in a hike, in a hiking trail. So really awesome stuff. So I knew I just wanted to, uh, I knew I just wanted to check it out for sure. funny I already ate both my sandwiches too for today but I think it's good like I, I was kind of hoping that I'd kind of because I was kind of getting hungry before I even started so I think it's just enough energy to get me through this and Betty says she's cooking a dinner tonight so I'm a little excited about that oh wow look at that view okay so that we're closer to the terminal now and as you guys can see just a wonderful lake view. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be by water. Um, unfortunately, there was no, um, yeah, there was there was no sunlight today, but you know what? It is what it is. Good hikes, so I'm not that, I'm not disappointed. And we went during the day, so that was also a good thing. Wow, yeah, you can really see it over here. I'll actually go check it out. But yeah, there's apparently a pile of wild birds here. Like very interesting ones too. Swans, golden eye. Oh yeah, belted kingfisher, common term, heron. Heron are big. They're huge. So that's 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 really wild. Alright, so there's a bench over here. I'm seeing like bird houses, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of, yeah, there's memorial benches and stuff. That's been a thing. <sighs> Loving memory, of, then there's trees. So yeah, there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on. But yeah, let's go and zoom in on that. A little bit closer this time, that's interesting. All right, onward to the next point. It's 
kind of hoping that we would see a swan here. That would be really, really cool. A trail going that way, that's interesting. Yeah, there's some plants we have to uh, be careful here. I don't know if they grow out right now, but there's one that causes severe burns and that's what those signs are right there. All right, so this next point says that it's on my right hand side. I'm wondering if it's just this little view of the water or what it is. Okay, wow, so we're at this, looks like kind of like a beachy area. Sorry about the snow, we still get, we're still getting it. We're still getting hit. So yeah, this is the point here. We'll just kind of look around. We have beer cans, we got some rocks. This might be a dud. Maybe it was just to bring us to this view. Yeah, I can't call it a dud because even if they bring the you choose just like a view or something like that, it is interesting. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? There's something right there. Yeah, something like that I'll take with me because that'll just get wrecked. What is this? So we found this book, it says, Cult TV, viewer guide to the shows America can't live without. Okay, well, let's kind of have a look-see here. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be like old television shows. Hold on. We'll just kind of skim through it. I'm not going to read it. The A-Team. Magnum P.I. Yeah, I remember that guy. There's Cheers. Betty loves that show. Cagney and Lacey. Hill Street Blues. Miami Vice. Okay, so this is pop culture, not cult. Thank God, I didn't want to look up stuff with cults. Prime Top Cults. Super Chicken. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Ten Spit and Brown. Have Gun Will Travel. Rawhide. Okay, so we'll just skim through here. Faulty Towers. I kind of think I remember that. Bunch of facts on the shows here. Wow. So this is old school. It's got like all the old, old shows in it. The Andy Griffin show. Yeah, there's just everything. Wow. Monty Python's Flying Circus. Oh, wow. That's an interesting book, The Monkeys. It's not something that I would keep or read, but I mean, it's it's interesting, to say the least. Taxi, so that's a show. These are really old shows, too. Like, holy crap, Lost in Space. I've never heard of the old school TV show of that, but that's cool. The Honeymoon, I don't know about that one. I bet I love Lucy is in here. Like, I bet there's all kinds of old, old stuff. There's MASH. That's an old show. Oh, yeah. Dark Shadow. So, we got horror crap. I'm not into that anymore. Side facts. Oh, yeah. The Blues Brothers. Oh, is that Batman? Yeah, there's the Batman stuff. I know Amber will like that with Batman. That's cool. Just interesting, interesting stuff. Mission Impossible, oh wow, I didn't know that was a show. I know Tom Cruise. There's more Batman. There's the old school Batman. That's when it all began, in a sense. I think the comic books were so before that. Oh shoot, sorry about that. Yeah, there's more Batman. There's Batman and Robin there. There's the whole old school crew. 
I was always a big Michael Keaton fan myself. He was my favorite. All right, Wild Wild West. Yeah, I'm just skimming through this, guys. I'm not gonna read it, but it, it is interesting. Lots of nice artwork here. Cool find for Rando. Sorry, skip some more Untouchables. We found a lot of popular, oh wow, there's some alien stuff. Doctor Who, oh wow, I think they redid that. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm just kind of skimming through it. I think we're gonna get going and start another, oh there's the Stooges. You bet your life. Oh my gosh, wow, interesting book. Like that's what I mean. The stuff that you find doing this, it's it's really it's really wild. Going through. Some of these I have no clue what they are, so that's why I'm kind of like skimming through. I've never there's happy days, so wow. Then Casey. Yeah, so this is culture TV, so that's what that is. So we found a lot of interesting stuff in here. That's cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to bring that with me just so that it's not uh, ruining nature and things like that. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to put this in the bag. I couldn't carry that backpack anymore. It was too much. I think that that was doing me more harm than good. And now that I'm actually able to, you know, get out and do this again, I just want to do right, bring more food, just, just get ready for the trips. I am seeing Angelo again soon, so be sure to check that episode out when it comes out. That'll be neat. But yeah, I think we're going to keep setting more points and uh, go from there, guys. Some cool stuff so far. I'm really happy I found this new trail. I think that it's it's really interesting. So, yeah, Betty's at home with the little one today. Things have been getting better uh, between us. Um, I know that my anxiety really took a toll on the family just because of how I was so it's like now it's just all about healing feeling better and getting out keeping busy oh what's that okay I'm gonna check this out this area out because it looks kind of different it takes a lot for anyone to live with somebody Oh, it's a birdhouse, that's what that is. And there's a plank down here. It takes a lot to live with somebody that has, um, I guess you would say chronic anxiety or seasonal depression. I'm gonna say what I have is mostly seasonal depression because the sunlight is cool. Yeah, so there's just like this board here, which is strange. It's kind of just chilling here, but we'll get back because we're gonna get back to the point. But yeah, it, it does. It takes a toll on them. I believe that mine was inherited from my dad. And it, uh, it kind of got a little bit worse with age. So, this helps. Hiking helps. I just have to replenish. So doing this and everything, I just got to replenish. Look after myself and, and go from there. One thing, and I don't know if this is actually good for you or not, but I've been eating one avocado a day, and I'll put it on sandwiches, so I'll make guacamole, and then I'll spread it on all four pieces of bread, and then I'll put the, the meat on there, whether it's chicken, whatever it is. So you guys will have to tell me if that is good for you or not good for you. I probably should be having more of a variety, and I think that that's, where the next step is. Oh wow, we're gonna go up there and check that out. But look at this turtle. Oh wow, that's cool. So somebody made like this metal turtle. Wow, that is super, super cool. There's something up over there though too. So we're gonna go check that out. So this is a labyrinth that we're standing on right now. And I guess you can follow the things and, and try to get to the center of it. Now, hedge mazes and stuff like that, or corn mazes, those are labyrinths. And they're pretty cool. 
and it tells you how to do it yeah i'm not going to focus too much on signs and stuff like that just because i don't want to get in any trouble but i wanted to film this park so there's this thing and this is like a historical thing and I'm not sure if it had to do with the far Yeah, I think it had to do with farming and things like that. Like I said, I don't want to get too focused on that. I'm just here to rent a knot. I don't want to get hit with strikes and all that other crap. So, yeah, there's that. I'll check this out over here. So this is this whole thing here. It's super, super cool. So turtle habitat restoration area. Yeah, all right. So we'll continue on to the next point, ladies and gentlemen. Arm is getting tired actually from holding this thing. Let's see if I can put it on my shoulder. Not. Oh wow, this is cool. Okay, so we just found this right now. And we're about to walk down this thing. This thing looks huge. And it's funny because when Rando led me to this park online, I was kind of like, okay, because I saw this boardwalk and it just went on and on and on. So I'm like, this is going to be a fun day. <laughs> Especially if it leads me down here and it is leading me down here. So, yeah. I want to show you guys more of Canada. More of my country, so like Ontario, there are millions of parks and, and things like that. I don't have to just film and bury. So that that's the big thing about it. Oh yeah, so here's all of the birdhouses. We were just talking about these. Lots and lots of birdhouses. Super, super cool today. Yeah, so I think that this point is actually past all of this stuff, which I like because I didn't want to be here, so. Sorry, guys, I just have to point it down because there's some people here. Hey guys. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Yourself? Wow. Big benches and stuff like that. Super, super cool. Wow. This place is awesome. Yeah, I was happy to get out today. It's nice giving uh, Betty a break too. But I find that if I'm busy, if I keep myself busy, I don't think about, I don't think about bad things. So that's always good. Oh, there's just some guy coming. Hello. Just going on a run. Lots of people out getting exercise, doing stuff. Super cool. Wow. I think I kind of want to turn right. I know that's not the point. The point's actually way, way down this way. But I kind of want to turn right and just see what's down here. So let me just fix the camera. I'm going to fix my belt too. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm too skinny, man. I need to I need to eat. Oh boy. But yeah, this place is this place is super cool. I'm excited. Oh yeah. It's, it's fun. Like you guys said, put on a belt. Put on a belt today. Oh, that's much better. Woo! There we go. So we'll go check this out. 
see if there's another nice view. I think Angelo just came back for a few days and then he's going right back. Getting right back out there. Keeping busy, so. I'm not sure what I'm going to do forever, guys. Like, long term career paths and stuff. I wanted to do this as long as I could do it. So, it all depends. I kind of want to just see what God has in store for me and kind of go from there. I've done a lot of bad things, written a lot of music that really isn't godly and things like that, just about my past personal life. And I want to make change, you know? I want to make change for my family and just everybody in my life. Wow, that's cool. It's like this huge bench you can sit on. Taking the view. This park is beautiful. I'll probably bring uh, Betty and Becky here sometime for a nice walk and then maybe a nice lunch. We are going to go to Buffalo sometime, so that's always going to be that's going to be fun. We have a friend that lives there, and that's the thing. I can't I haven't really thought about filming there and stuff like that, but uh, because they want this visa now like you have to get a work visa and all this other crap going on in the States But um, yeah, we're we're gonna go there and have a little trip Yeah, so I just I think we'll keep continuing on to this point Let me just see I might have to wipe that lens uh, No, I don't know. Just, you know what? It's not it's cool. It's fine. It's just one little droplet I don't think it's gonna hurt the video that much but we have a little bit of uh, a little bit of like a, a drizzle not so much rain I think it's gonna snow pretty bad the next day or so I don't know it's kind of playing it by year play playing it by day I mean so when this baby does reach a half hour cycle I am gonna have to make a cut like this camera will shut off regardless because it's canon Canon does stupid things like that. However, I'll make sure I stop on the dot, like I always do. Yeah, I don't feel too bad. I actually feel pretty good today. I have to start drinking a lot more water. That's the thing, I just don't get enough water each day. Because even if you don't sweat, your body still uses it up doing this kind of stuff. So that's, that's the huge thing. Wow. What a day. I couldn't have picked a better time to come out. As I got here, traffic was good, there was parking. They said that you don't have to pay for parking until May, so that's good. I was actually able to do this and not have any issues. Super, super cool. I'm loving this boardwalk. Absolutely love it. I like that, I like this, uh, camera lens with its wide, so that's nice. I think I have to stop making big silly purchases. I don't think I'm gonna do that again. I'm literally just gonna put the money into the family and for groceries and things that we need. That'll also help me kind of regain, regain myself, gather myself back up again, so yeah. All right, so it says that this next point is on the right hand side. I'm gonna make a cut because I know this is gonna just stop. If I find something, it's gonna suck if, I, if it just cuts off. So just make a quick cut, hit stop, and then hit record. There's this block thing here. I don't wanna check that out. But yeah, my point is actually these pillars. 
And I was just kind of curious, because it's like, what the heck is this thing? Or is it just, oh wait, there's a shopping cart? That's destroyed by the weather. The rust and, and everything, or what have you, so. Yeah, so there's a bunch of pillars over here. Interesting. It's weird because it looks like this is a trail, and I don't... Yeah, it is. I guess this is just the end of this trail. I don't know. Alright, so we're passing through here. There's a little bit of graffiti on this thing. Wow. Really like this hike. Brand new spot. Couldn't be happier, man. Couldn't be happier. All right. Coming up to the point. This is kind of a little bit eerie. That goes down there. But yeah, this is my points actually over here. seeing anything here guys hold on a second go over here yeah so tell me if you guys see anything <sighs> come on up here oh yo what the heck is that there's something right down there uh, what is this okay hold on I'm just gonna get some flat ground here <sighs> look at the mushrooms growing out of that thing eh all these trees everywhere. What is this? So I just found this right now kind of hanging out of a tree. It says, I want to age like sea glass, smoothed by tides, not broken. I want to ride the waves, go with the flow, and feel the impact of the surging tides. When I am caught between the rocks in a hard place, I will rest. And when I am ready, I will catch a wave and let it carry me to where I belong. I want to be picked up gently by those who delight in my well-earned patina and appreciate the things I went through in order to achieve this luster. And then it says, I want to enjoy my journey and let my preciousness be, not in spite of the impacts, but because of them. I want to age like sea glass. And I'm just seeing a mandarin coin here. So I can only... Oh, holy smokes. All right. I'm going to have to open this up. I don't know what this is, but it could be something weird. It's in this big bag. The cold air is giving me the sniffles. There's nothing I can do about it. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, what is this? Okay, so we just found these photographs right now. Okay, so... Uh, there's nothing written on it. What is that? Looks like some sort of desert landscape. It looks pretty. Okay, so there's... Yeah, same thing, like desert and some sort of mountain. Yo. Okay, that looks like a volcano. So it looks like a volcano there. And I don't know what that is. You guys will have to let me know. There's some sort of structure in that one. Oh, hold on. So there's like a guy in a jail cell and there's a guy hanging out there. Whoa, what is this? This looks like a detective pointing out crime scene evidence. And then the criminal is sitting there whether to testify. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't really know how to put this stuff together, guys. I just know that we keep finding some strange things. I'm gonna take this with me. Thank God it's bagged. So we'll bring that with us. 
it's really hard to say if this is the brothers, if this is other people. I mean, I've found Zodiac-like things before. I don't like finding them. It's not my forte. I would rather just find simple things or Christian things or, you know, things happy to do with, like, just, like, you know, simple everyday things. So I think we're going to set a couple more points, though. I am finding stuff, which is making me happy, so I think we're going to set more and go from there. Alright guys, so we're heading on back. And then we'll see if we can find anything else. It's kind of weird, it's leading us back to where we came from. However, it looks like there's, on the map, there's like this turn, so... <sighs> We'll see if that leads us to something new or if it's really just a trail marker. I don't know. Sorry. Just fixing myself here. The pants are fixed. I just, I just guzzled a bunch of water. <laughs> and some came back up. That wasn't fun. Oh, wow. Look at the water. Yeah, there's the water going up there. Okay, so there's people walking. Just gonna make sure the camera's down. Hello. to see where life takes me and I know, I'll know that it feels right in my heart whatever I may do or for a career or anything I have been thinking about going back to school not I don't know what for or even pursuing something else of an entrepreneur like just doing like obviously working for myself but we'll see we'll see how it goes I've had some uh, sit-downs with my pastor and just a lot of stuff that I've been doing. It's not, like I said, it's not of God. And being married to Betty, I've also married into this faith. And I want to do right spiritually and uh, spiritually and physically. And I've found that a lot of stuff has taken a toll on me doing this. Um, and I've forgotten about, like, those that I've cared about, so that's a big, big thing. But, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm still here now. Um, whatever the future has in store, of course, I'll probably give you guys an update. And let you guys know what's going on or what I want to do going forward and all that. But, for now, this is where I am. You're like an airplane or something. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of glad we're headed back to because I'd like to get back home to Betty and hang out with Becky for a little while today. I haven't seen her today. I think I saw her in the morning and that was about it. I'm glad that many of you have uh, enjoyed much of the content, even though there's been times where I've thought that I've put out absolute garbage sometimes, and you guys still seem to enjoy even that, so that really makes me happy with all the uh, support that I've gotten from you guys. It's, it does mean a lot to me. Hopefully with whatever I choose to do in the next, uh, my next phase, uh, hopefully you guys will respect that as well and I may always keep the channel running and of course if I do find a career that's different that might still do this now and then might even do hiking videos or trip vlog videos or even start a new channel just for the side if me and Betty decide to do that so okay so this point says that it's a right hand turn. Alright, so we'll go down and check this.
All right. Going down here. Lots of, uh... Yeah, lots of birdhouses everywhere. Okay, so this one says that it's a little off trail, so we'll see what's going on out here. Okay. I'll see if I can get out over here. I don't really like these because it's just like, oh, ick. Let's see. Yeah, like I don't think this is anything, guys, this one. This looks kind of dirty and stuff like that, so I don't know. <sighs> Seeing. Oh, yo! Yo, you there's something down here. What is this? <sighs> okay, it looks like a painting of a dragon. Oh, yo, what is that? It says Year of the Dragon. And there's a bunch of symbols on it. I do see that target thing. Yeah. That could be them. I hate dealing with them too because I just, I just kind of want to be done with it. I'm just done with them. The amount of anxiety and, you know, stress they put on my body this season. That was the biggest thing too. I didn't, I don't talk about it. I, I, I am petrified of clowns and you guys know this. I've talked about it. But a big thing in the season, the winter season, that took a toll on my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health was the fact that I dealt with this, these, these lunatics and this whole, you know, unsolved mysteries web. And having to try and get away from that has been healing, but then finding things, it's kind of like, well, they're still out there. So that gets me disturbed. But yeah, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to set one last coordinate. I would like to get going home. I don't want to stay out here. I mean, I'm not in danger out here. There's lots of people here. So that's cool. But finding this kind of stuff just doesn't make me excited to say the least. And not only that, I'm not getting a lot of sun. So I do want to get some more sun. But anyways, guys, I'm going to set one last coordinate here. Um, I might do a small night venture, depending. Um, probably tonight and then go out just for just to see if we can get anything because I have been finding some really weird stuff at night and I don't mind night hiking sometimes so uh, yeah be sure to check that out all right guys all right so we're headed on to the last point and then drive home yeah so it says we can go back here I know it makes uh, people sad. A lot of uh, YouTubers will leave or do something new or stay doing YouTube but change everything. And really, I get it now. <laughs> I never understood it. I totally get it. And you know what? Your family, you know, if you have a wife or husband and your children, they come first. Well, actually, you know what? Like, since I'm Christian, God comes first. They are next. And having that all in line, that works out for you. In the end, you put those two together, that's your sandwich right there. <sighs> having to go through with some of the, the, the stress and the, the amount of cardio that these jobs put you in it's it's insane it's just wild yeah so I was really excited about the last labs I had done there's literally no low blood sugar literally no hypoglycemia it is it was a fluke it was literally like there was I kind of got into it, but it wasn't something that was really bad. Okay. This next point says it's right here. And there's trees that look like they're painted. What is this? Okay, 
so it looks like there's trees. It looks as though they're painted, but I think that's their actual natural color. It's just wearing off. What's going on in here? I mean, there's this bag. It's probably just garbage or... Let's see what this is. Oh, yo! No, there's something right here. Wow, there's like a pretty flower. Oh, what the hell. Yo, there's there's something in it. Pop this off. Put this in the bag. No litter, man. I can't stand litter. So there is something inside of this. I can crack it open and then take the glass that I break with me. Let's see here. Yikes. <laughs> I thought that I just hit the camera there. That wouldn't have been good. I just bought the thing. <sighs> but yeah. It says Via Veneto. That's different. Very, very different. I wish that I could pull this out by hand. There's like a baggie in it, but I don't think I can. You know what? Let's try. Because if I could do this without breaking glass, that would be great. <sighs> Hold on, I might be actually be able to do this. <sighs> come on, come on, come to Bradley. You know what, let's just keep using this stick. I might be able to get this out. Let's see, let's see how champion I can be. <sighs> come on, oh my gosh, it's so close. I don't know what this is. It's so close, too. We just need to get that up. Ugh. Okay, hold on a sec. No friggin' way. I think I got it. I got it. I'll get it out of there. Yeah, I got it out. Okay, sweet. That makes this so much easier. Okay, we'll bring that with us because we don't want litter. Put that in the bag. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta open this. I'll need both hands. Okay. What is it? Is it a map? Is it a note? What is it? All right, we got a note here. Let's see what this is. This says, took me a while to realize all of this running and hiding isn't worth it. I'm unsure how Bear feels. Oh wow, the name Bear came up again. But living out here starving is not the answer. We want more out of life than this wretched forest. I've taken the liberty of packing most of our things. All you have to do is grab and pack the rest and come meet me. I'll be waiting for you. Anything at the bottom here? Oh, and there's a little R. There's a little R in the corner. Okay. Strange. Strange stuff, man. We found a lot of weird stuff today. Like I said, I will be randonauting tonight and just like seeing what I can get. Um, yeah, but, but anyways guys, I guess I'll see you tonight and yeah, we'll go from there. All right guys, so kind of back at this forest and I don't really like this. Like it looks like it's leading me to that mountain again, but I mean, I like following the app, like wherever it's going to take me, I'm going to go, so I'll go check this out. I don't like this because last time I did see this man come after me with an axe and I really wasn't comfortable. I had to literally clock the guy out in the darkness, so I don't want to come across anybody here again. I was so lucky for a while, so I really hope that... I'm lucky again and I don't see anyone. I just find something. Gotta be extra cautious here. Whew. 
I'm very nervous. It's cold again, so, yep, we will get the sniffles. There's nothing I can do about that. Found some weird Celtic stuff up here last time to do with druids. And I don't know anything about that stuff. I had to ask Braden because I'm like, do you know anything about this? Because this is so strange. So, yep, yeah, found that. I have heard sounds on this mountain before too. Yeah, nothing up there. It's a long way down. Okay. The point says that it's further up. I might even be near the road when I get to the top of this thing. Because it says that it's much past area I was last time. Okay. All right. So we're going up here. Hello. Hello? Okay, I could be just... I thought I heard somebody though. I... Like I thought I heard somebody talking down here. You never be too careful out here. What the heck is that? Oh, okay, that's just some tree rot. I thought there was something actually on the tree. This thing is obliterated, look at that. It's just out of it. I think I found like a... There is the boulder again. Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. Looks like there's something right there on the ground. Hello? Okay, there's nobody here. I'm not seeing anybody, so that's good. What is this? It looks like these paintings. I remember when I was finding, me and Braden were finding paintings. So there's like a painting of a skull. What does this say? Oh, it does say It says, death is only the beginning. What our latest trip taught us both was to not fear. Embrace this life and the next. Like, what the That is, yo, what the hell? Holy <gasps> holy <sighs> Stay back, man! Holy <sighs> this guy again. <sighs> holy He's coming after me. Stay back! Oh, fudge. Holy crap, he's coming after me, he's coming after me. Stay back, man! I gotta get down here. What do you want from me, man? Oh, yeah. oh, freak, freak, freak.
I'm gonna wait till he leaves. Getting out of here. These people are psychopaths. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go down. Holy <laughs> What do these people want from me, man? <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Okay, we're back. We're back. Oh man. Put that on the ground for a sec. <sighs> oh, they just make me so nervous. Like these people are dangerous. I don't even know. There could be more of them. Dressed up all like this. I don't know what, like this could be more than one person. I have no idea. But I spotted the same freaking dude last time. Okay, we made it out okay. I didn't want to attack him up here because it's like a mountain. Like, I don't want to like get in a dust up and then fall off that cliff. Like, I'm terrified of heights. So I'm just like, you know what? Let him go back to his little freaking rock and then he can just do whatever the hell he's doing out here. Whoo! That was a warning though. That was a for sure warning. All right, guys. I think that's enough for that's enough for this. Be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We got a lot more to come for you. Oh boy, I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh, these these people make me so nervous. Like seeing stalkers and things like that. So I just cannot deal with this. Oh, oh boy. Well, until next time.